it's a special honor and privilege for all of us uh, in the U.S. Embassy and the entire American delegation, uh, especially represented by uh, Robert Cabana, uh, the director of the John F. Kennedy Space Center, uh, Major General David Thompson, uh, the vice commander of the Air Force Space Command, and all of our participants. Uh, it's, a, it's very meaningful for us to take part in this ceremony uh, to hand over uh, the MADEX uh, experiment. Uh, back to uh, back to Israel, um, and uh, we've heard of course about the uh, courage and the commitment uh, and the heroism of uh, Ilan Ramon Zichrona Livracha, for whom this conference uh, is named. Uh, he uh, showed that courage and commitment uh, in all the years uh, he served in the uh, Israel Air Force, uh, in all the years of training leading up to uh, the flight on the Space Shuttle Columbia uh, and all the way until its final minutes when he perished uh, with his American colleagues, uh, whose names I also want to remember, uh, Rick Husband, William McCool, Michael Anderson, Carolina Chawla, David Brown, and Laurel Clark. Uh, this conference, which has become such an important institution uh, in Israel's space program and in Israel's collaboration with the United States and its many other international partners uh, is a fitting tribute uh, to Elon and everything that he contributed. Um, and uh, to me, the opportunity to take part in this ceremony highlights something very important about the relationship uh, between the United States and Israel. I encounter in my role as ambassador uh, so many examples of the vibrant partnership and uh, deep ties between our countries. It takes place in the security realm. It takes place uh, in the common values between our uh, two democracies that take place in our economic partnership and increasingly in the areas of innovation and exploration that really uh, Elon and his colleagues were at the forefront of. This equipment that we'll shortly see, the, the Madex experiment, uh, really brings it home. This is uh, the equipment uh, that Elon operated uh, with his own hands miles above the Earth uh, as he orbited in the Space Shuttle Columbia. Uh, and bringing it back here to home to Israel uh, reminds us of several things. It reminds us of our past collaboration uh, between our space agencies, uh, which brought Israel's first astronaut uh, into space. It, of course, recalls the shared pain and grief uh, that we felt on that terrible day in 2003 and still feel uh, in its memory uh, when uh, Columbia and its crew were lost. But even more so, uh, and this is so characteristic of the Israeli experience, it illustrates our common commitment to look forward together, uh, to forge an even stronger partnership between our countries in innovating and in exploring uh, and in letting our peoples uh, experience uh, everything that we benefit from uh, that exploration, both in space and on the ground. There are many ongoing examples of that partnership. Uh, last fall, NASA Administrator Charles Bolden led a large delegation to the International Astronautical Congress in Jerusalem. And during his visit, NASA and ISA signed an agreement that opens the door to new opportunities in bilateral space co cooperation. Uh, last night, uh, we saw the wonderful uh, satellites designed by Israeli students who will be able to attend the NASA camp. And there are many other educational programs that NASA sponsors in Israeli schools to bring forward the next generation of explorers and scientists. And at the same time, United States and Israeli diplomats in New York have worked hard to enable Israel to join the UN Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space. Uh, and it's thus fitting uh, that the director of the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs has joined us here to honor uh, Ilan Ramon and the Columbia crew and to celebrate Israel's entry into COPUS, a, a fitting tribute to Israel's achievements in space and the great contributions it can make going forward. So in closing, uh, let me thank Minister Akunis, uh, ISA, the Fisher Institute, uh, and our NASA visitors, and of course, uh, Rona Ramon. Uh, I wish you all uh, an enjoyable conference today and, and a successful week of space education activities all across Israel. Thank you.